meteorologist Matt Milosevic. Hey, Matt. Eric, we've seen some snow. We've mixed in some sleep pellets as well. I think we could see some rain, especially a little later on today. Jacob and Corden sent us this picture from Harrison County there of a little bit of snow covering the car tops. Roadways should be in good shape. We had some snow early on our live weather camera on the backside of Churchill Downs. Uh, not seeing that anymore. Notice uh, both on the roof of the Twin Spires and down towards the grass track at the bottom of the screen. Uh, things are much quieter. Uh, notice the rain snow mix that's being indicated on the radar. Again, it was mainly just some flurries, but now that the sun is coming up, temperatures are going to slowly but surely warm. I think we're going to change any snow over to a little better opportunity for mainly some raindrops with perhaps a few flurries or a couple of sleep pellets mixed in from time to time. This is the first little batch of precipitation. Then we get into a gap uh, back off into our western communities. Farther out to the west, though, a renewed opportunity for more precipitation. That'll mainly be in the form of rain. It'll be a little more widespread, too. It comes in later this morning and into the afternoon. You can see it building through southern Illinois, down along the western Kentucky and Missouri border there, right along the Ohio River, or excuse me, the Mississippi River. Temperatures 36 degrees in the metro. Most locations above freezing. In Carrollton, you're 32, but you're dry. And overall, I don't think we're going to see too many problems with accumulating snowfall. At worst, like we saw in that picture of Corridan, a little brief uh, coating, perhaps on the car tops, on the decks, and the elevated surfaces, but the ground should be mainly dry. As we uh, head through the rest of the day, rain showers from the west move off towards the east, and again, it will mainly be rainfall. But as temperatures stay in the upper 30s to near 40, at times and in pockets, uh, you could see a brief little changeover to a few snowflakes as well, mixing in with that rainfall. As we make our way into tonight. Light rain shower, some patchy drizzle, maybe a flurry here or there, but overall the main storm system that's bringing us the precipitation today will be exiting. We'll linger some clouds behind into tomorrow morning, and as long as we have that cloud cover, a uh, patch or two of drizzle can't be ruled out, but mainly through the late day hours tomorrow, not only will we dry out, See some of the cloud cover beginning to give way to some late day sunshine on your Friday afternoon, paving the way for an overall better weather scenario this weekend and into early next week as things get a little quieter in through the central and western portions of the United States. 23 in Denver, 22 in Fargo and 29 in Chicago. It's uh, definitely in some cool spots across the country, but notice some of that milder air from southeast Texas and into Louisiana starting to nudge northward. So we're going to finally start to see slowly but surely a little bit of an uptick in our temperatures. Today, though, chilly and damp, 40 degrees, mainly some rain showers off and on through the afternoon, but it may at times mix with some snowfall and uh, some patchy drizzle or flurries into tonight. But again, problems, uh, if any, will be very minor across the area. Any rain chances in tomorrow morning will be drier in the afternoon, but still mostly cloudy skies that holds our temperatures to 46. But 50s return for the weekend. Most Will stay dry even on Saturday, just a slight chance of a shower mainly north of Louisville in the afternoon. Then we hit the 70s Monday and Tuesday full on spring to start early next week. But that warmth will fuel some showers and thunderstorms by Wednesday, a 40% chance there, primarily later in the day. At least that's how the timing looks right now. We've got plenty of opportunity to watch it. But Suzanne, a few folks are going to see a little bit of snowflake activity, maybe some sleep pellets and plain old raindrops. Yeah. How are the roadways holding up? You know, we don't need.